Hi there and welcome to another Excel tutorial video. My name is Steve and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a drop-down list to make it not only easier to enter things into a cell but to do some data validation. In other words, to prevent our data enterers from making mistakes. So let's take a look at a really simple example. In this example here, we have a little spreadsheet with a customer name, here's our customers, and a flavor. And this is basically like an order form for snow cones. So if Jane wants to order a flavor, she can pick her flavor. And our snow cone makers can enter in only the flavors that we have. And so you can see there are a couple of things in here already, but let me go ahead and delete this and I'll show you how this works. When I click on the flavor cell next to her name, you can see it gives us this little drop down, and then there's even a little message that says, pick a flavor from the drop down list. So you click on the list, and it gives you the flavors that you can choose from. Pick one of those, and it enters it in. If we hit enter to the next cell, same thing. We click on the drop down, now we can pick watermelon. Hit enter and so on and so forth. Now, the cool and data validation part of this is that if I try to type in cherry and hit enter, it gives me this error message. The value doesn't match the data validation restrictions defined for the cell. And you can say retry and you can type in, okay, well, how about orange? And notice I didn't capitalize it, hit enter, and it still accepts it, okay? You can also type in orange with the caps and it'll take it. Oh, except I did the autofill. So orange with the capital, hit enter. Doesn't matter, but the point is it will only allow you to enter or select things that are in this list. So the question is where did I get this list and how does this work? And that's what I'm going to show you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete all of this and I'm going to clear and I'm going to click OK. And then I'm just going to click OK. Or actually, I'm going to say clear all and click OK so that we're starting back from scratch. And so the way to get that data validation and that drop down list in here is to first select all of the cells that you want to apply this data validation to. So obviously that's all of the cells that are next to our customer names under the flavor column. So I highlight all of those. And before I get too far, let me show you something else that I've done. I've created a separate spreadsheet with our list. So if I click on the list, all I've done is simply entered in the different names of flavors that we have in stock that we are willing to sell in a spreadsheet right here. Very simple, but that's a separate list in a separate spreadsheet, okay? I'll go back to my snow cones worksheet. Uh, again, I've highlighted all of these cells and then I'm going to go up to data validation and just click on the button. Okay, so first, we're, it's usually going to first start on settings and it says va validation criteria, allow what? What are we allowing? And we're going to allow anything to be entered that is on our list. So we hit that and then it's gonna ask for the source. And this is the most important part. You can click into the cell and you can enter in a range of cells, but it's much easier to just click on this button here. You'll notice it kind of changes the window and then it's waiting for us to select whatever cells we want. And so we're gonna navigate with our mouse over to this list. We're gonna highlight those cells. And notice that what it does is it gives a little formula basically. It says equals list exclamation point. That's saying we're going to the list worksheet and we're selecting cells A1 through A5, okay? When you're done, you can open this back up and you can see our source cells are here. That's perfect. And then you could just click OK, but if you wanna get extra crazy and fancy, you can put in an input message. And in the input message, 
I believe we said select a fla flavor from the drop down list. Okay, and then finally, if you want there to be an error alert, you can change it or it will just go to the default, which is what we saw before. And you can change this to different things, but we'll just leave it as this, as the default. Okay, so then we click OK. And now you can see that these have the drop down. If I click off of this, click back into that, again, it says select a flavor from the drop down list. And you probably wouldn't use this often. I just wanted to show you how that works. And you click here and it gives you those options again. Okay, then we can just cruise through this and pick whatever flavors we want. Okay, so that's how you do data validation by creating a drop down list in Excel so that it can only select from a given list. Thanks for watching. I hope that that was helpful for you. If you liked it, click like. If you want to subscribe and learn more about Excel, do that. And then, of course, check out the link in the description that goes to my full Excel mastery course for beginners. It has tons of good stuff, and it will get you really dialed in for learning how to do Excel. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.